fin is in. Tiny foil fin. Picking up the phone these days means holding nanotechnology in your hand. Now that phones do so much more than voice, and we look at the things, nanotechnology steps in. The engineers at Napanil are part of a research project to keep European industries cutting edge leaders for things like screens for cell phones. This is one of the applications we're developing here for small mobile units. This screen is covered with a very thin plastic surface which has a highly complex structure. The white light enters here. As you can see, it's a very powerful and homogeneous source of light if we compare it to the normal screen you find on the market. Between the two screens, the difference is obvious. Jos tätä verrataan esimerkiksi äh, kaupalliseen mobiili- tai puhelimeen, niin ero on aika selvä. This technology makes glowing screens more efficient, so they use less energy. To develop this, Napanil invented a silicon stamp, nanometrically fine. This stamp changes the way light reacts with transparent surfaces. Before the miniature stamp can be used, its features are worked out on larger surfaces through a process called nano-imprinting. Nano-imprinting is a very important phase where the small master stamp is imprinted and replicated several times. The surface with all the numerous replications of this figure will be used in the final imprinting process. Nano-imprinting works on surfaces such as plastic, which go onto our cell phone screens, for instance, enhancing their optical properties. The dimensions of these structures are less than one micrometer. The reason they are interesting is because they allow us to manipulate light and reflect it in different ways. We see it because the imprinted surface produces different colors. Each color corresponds to an angle at which light crosses the imprinted surface. These nano-surfaces capable of controlling the passage of light have already found other applications besides our cell phone screens. The nano-imprinting technique opens new perspectives for different kinds of applications, notably thanks to the complex 3D structure of the printed surface. We can also print on very different materials, like polymers, light-emitting materials, or biocompatible materials. The two other applications are the light fragmentation element we can integrate into windows for a better utilization of sunlight. In other words, a better use of daylight in lighting systems, which contributes to energy savings. Light directors in window glass allow better illumination in buildings. Another field of application is the automotive industry. This means optical control surfaces in transparent emissive displays. Unlike conventional heads-up displays which project images, this layer ensures brightness and contrast at any time of the day. Our goal is to create a windshield screen, an emissive head-up display with such low costs that manufacturers can put it in mid-price range vehicles, thereby increasing driver safety on the road.